Well, we are letting you know how you can protect yourself this morning and your money from the latest scams. A new study from AARP shows the majority of Americans believe fraud has hit a crisis level. $9 billion was scammed from Americans just last year alone. More and more scam tactics keep popping up. And today on Midday, we hear from the Director of Fraud Prevention Programs at AARP with the latest tactics to watch out for. So joining us live is Kathy Stokes. $9 billion just last year, a lot of money, and that's just what we know about. But your group is warning that that is just the tip of the iceberg. Why is that? Absolutely. Uh, we have a tendency to underreport fraud in this country, and we know that $9 billion, according to the FTC, is literally the tip of the iceberg. I've seen numbers as high as in the $40 billion area and even higher yet. Um, we don't report the fraud because sometimes we don't even know that it's a crime. And also it can be embarrassing and people just don't want to talk about it probably. One warning your team is really focused on though revolves around peer-to-peer -peer payment apps like Venmo, Cash App. These are legit apps and people use them all the time, but what do you need to watch out for so you aren't scammed? If anybody is telling you that um, you owe some immediate financial obligation and the quickest way to resolve it is to send money with a peer-to-peer -peer app, it's a scam. Understand that um, those uh, payment methods don't have the same type of protections that we have with a credit card. So if somebody steals from you using that, that money is not coming back. And we talk a lot about the signs of scams, what to watch out for, but still people are getting ripped off. They're embarrassed by it. Like they don't want to talk about it because they, they thought, you know, I, I didn't think I was that stupid to fall for that. So what are your tips to avoid getting scammed when it seems like something legit and you're just not sure. I mean, you've got to question everything, right? Well, yeah, and importantly, we have to change that narrative that, that the, the person who experienced the fraud was stupid or they got duped or they were swindled. That's not what happened. They were a victim of a crime. Um, and, and we've lost sight that fraud is a crime in our society. And we have to understand that these scams are virtually unrecognizable as fraud and um, to not blame the victim for having experienced it. What resources do you have online for people to check out this morning in case they want more information about this? Yeah, check out aarp.org slash fraudwatch network for lots of news and information. And while you're there, you can sign up for biweekly watchdog alerts that'll keep you mindful that this stuff is happening. And when you read something on there, share it with everybody you know. The more we talk about it, the less likely we will experience it. Helpful information. That was Kathy Stokes. She's the director of fraud prevention programs at AARP. Thank you so much for sharing part of your morning with us. Thank you.